Hi, I'm Josh with ASA Electronics. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the NCTP100. This is the in-command tire pressure monitoring system. This allows you to monitor your tire pressure and temperatures on your phone remotely. The NCTP100 comes with four sensors, a Bluetooth repeater, and the hardware needed to install this product. By the way, optional, however, it is recommended to be installed in RVs and fifth wheel applications. The repeater requires 12 volt signal. Now on something like this, you wouldn't have to install a repeater because the distance between each sensor is not far at all. On an RV or a fifth wheel, the distance is much greater. The NCTP 102 comes with two sensors for additional tires you may want to monitor on your vehicle. So first you'll start by unscrewing your valve stem cover. You'll take one sensor and the anti-theft attachment. You'll put the anti-theft attachment on, like so, and you'll turn it to expose where the battery is going to get installed. You'll take the battery and you'll slide it here. This will activate the sensor for 10 minutes. Take the end of the sensor cover, screw it back on. You're going to put the locking nut on the valve stem. And you'll put the anti-theft attachment on and the sensor. You'll take your wrench and screw the nut to the sensor. Like so. Make sure when screwing your sensor onto your valve stem that it is fully seated so that way you get an accurate temperature and tire pressure reading. Once you get the app installed, you will accept a user agreement as well as some notification settings. In the app, you're going to add a vehicle. Once you do this, you will be asked how many tires you're looking to monitor. There are a couple options to pair. First method is deflation, so you would let out a couple pounds of air and then the sensor would activate. Another way is to just put the battery in the sensor and it's activated for 10 minutes. And then another way is to do the QR code and you'll use your phone's camera to scan the QR code that's on the sensor, which we're gonna do now. Once you do the QR codes with your phone, you can then hit the home button and all of your pressures will be listed there. Since this took us more than a couple minutes, the sensors are not all active right now because they're only active for 10 minutes after putting the battery in. The sensors reactivate once you begin moving. So we'll need to begin moving, that way we can see what the pressures are on our phone. All right, we're in the car now. So just keep in mind, these sensors will activate once you begin moving. Typically the sensors are fully active after 20 mile an hour.